Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your site ground hosting service. And more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video. And that is how do you update your site ground DNS record? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you need to update your DNS records in site ground anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, creating websites, you know that sometimes you'll buy the domain from one provider but then the hosting is gonna be on a different provider like Wix. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. Most of the process will be handled in your SiteGround account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. Also, before we go any further, I wanna let you know that in order for this to work, you need to get the DNS records that are required from your other hosting provider. So that's gonna be provided from Wix or GoDaddy or wherever you're hosting your website. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the DNS record on SiteGround. So that way it points the domain to the website builder. So I've already logged into my SiteGround account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you wanna update the DNS record, first what you're gonna do is you have to go to the domain section in your SiteGround. So here on my homepage, they have this button here called domains. You have 10 domains, you're gonna click on manage. If you don't have this button for some reason, don't worry, click on the top menu right here, services. Okay, so once you click there, you're gonna go ahead and look on the secondary menu and click on domains. Either way, it's gonna bring you to the same place. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna show all of the different domains that you have in SiteGround. And in order to update the DNS records, go ahead and search for the website that you wanna change those records for. So for example, on this one, we're gonna choose this one. And you wanna click on the settings button here on the bottom right. Okay, so once you click there, it's going to show all of the different domains that you have with SiteGround. And in order to update the DNS record, just scroll through until you find the domain that you want to update the records for. So for example, on this video, we'll go ahead and update this one. So you want to click on the settings button next to the domain. Okay, so once you click there, it's going to show the domain owner information. And in order to edit the DNS records right here above your information, you're going to see this little button here called DNS zone editor. Go ahead and click on there. Okay, guys, so here is where you can go ahead and update your DNS records. So here, on this menu, you're gonna see the A records, the C name records, MX records. So you're not gonna know what to put into here until you talk to your other provider. So what you wanna do is you wanna message GoDaddy or Wix or wherever you're gonna be hosting your website and ask them what should be inserted into your DNS record. So a lot of times it's gonna be your A record. So if you find the record down here, you can easily go ahead and just click on this edit and then you can go ahead and insert the DNS record that is required from your other provider. You can also insert the record up here on the top. Now, one thing I wanna let you know, if you are updating your DNS records on SiteGround, especially if you're gonna be pointing your website, it's not anything that usually goes through immediately. It can take a few hours. In weird circumstances, it could take up to 72 hours, as you can see right here, 72 hours. Now, if it takes longer than that, then that means there might be an error in the settings of the DNS that you input it. So you might wanna go ahead and try that again and verify it with your other provider to make sure that you're using the correct IP address. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to update your DNS records in your SiteGround account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.